Hello. Hi, connecting, coming through live. For those of you who um, will come across this in their feed, is who is meant to see, uh, receive, and feel a healing that's coming through firstly to the planet right now. No set day, time, agenda anymore. Everything's so fluid. Hey Lauren, hey EJ, hey Taylor, hey Lisa, okay, hey Kerry, Nikki, Kim, beautiful. So things are in this week alone, massive, life changing, altering humanity ascension changing energies that I can confirm and validate that for you of another rung and a higher level of divine energies coming through to the planet with our higher rung and upgrade ascension things have elevated and sped up I'm very much a benchmark for many with what they're going through with energies that they say they don't have a benchmark and I say well I can be that benchmark of the divine with your journey of that bit missing or that bit extra that you've been searching after of the divine in being a really really totally pure vessel myself it's taken me a quarter of a century to reach this place where I am right now of I have no self-consciousness about how I speak, what I speak, what I bring through. I will walk around filming in my private light paradigm group, walking along the waterfront, doing hand movements and everything, streaming alive, healing. I, I'm way past any of that. I am clearing energies for a new platform. Hey, Bethy, a new platform to come through in my world of being a connection directly with God, Source, whatever you want to say, whatever it is for you in your terminology, um, where I just come from pure unconditional love and you will receive and feel whatever this is or for you for even call to this space with me whether you understand what I'm sharing and saying or not doesn't matter just showing up being here is enough for you to take a breath just breathe breathe and allow yourself to have a moment and a breath here just in this golden moment space right now masters these were the weekly live healings these then shifted to where now i'm recording once a week once a fortnight now a live divine healing energy update that is by exchange that has altered for me to continue we have recently faced our mortality of we've never made it this far before in all previous lifetimes you never made it to this point congratulations well done You've made it through a most massive gauntlet in the last seven days, let alone the last 12, 24, and so on. I will focus mainly the last seven days. Then I can go to the next of, in the last four weeks, there's been another significant message change. In four weeks, there's another benchmark alone. So, take a moment. Breathe and release and feel that we are not on our own. We may be in our lone spaces at times. But I'm sharing and bringing to you, we need to bring a new unity energy together of being in our own private sacred spaces firstly. Yet we need to learn how to communicate with others coming from unconditional love because there's so much competition and ego that goes on in competitiveness. A competing with others is a very natural human being part in ascending to a higher vibration for yourself in more unconditional love for yourself of letting go of others and it takes time. We've been conditioned by the mind, the monkey mind, the lower brain to continually beat ourselves up to continually that inner 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 voice of how you speak to yourself and lately it has been words and things that 
you don't deserve to hear that from yourself that has come through of our parents and grandparents, the generational and lineage traumas, ancestry traumas. So there's a lot going on that's bigger than just you. So if this helps you, that alone, that <clears throat> one can take a breath of fresh air and that can be life changing. Hey, Barefoot Gypsy, Lisa, Larissa, Sylvia. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Debs. Hey, lovely Tiffy. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rachel. Ah, Kalin Nichter. Good night, Irina. Rachel, Cassie, Brianna, Carrie. Oh, not only am I live, Carrie, I'm also a live. As in, <clears throat> the recently, the message was remember, this is for you. I'm a mirror of a mirror of pure unconditional love for you to help you find yourself. That is language in any person's terms with all the spiritual terms I use. Because it's taken me a long time to love myself. I'm still me and those, there's two friends from school I've known from a very young age that are on here. And I'm still me, I'm still Anna, as I was called. Yet over 20 years ago, I claimed my birth name of Anastasia. The Anna just did not vibrate for me. So um, I am still me and um, that has not changed. Um, yet I've learned to understand and own all my warts and all and all my bits and that's where our superpower lies you know is um, lighting up and laughing with ourselves hey um, because there's just so much bullshit going on you have to laugh don't take it all on don't go down all the rabbit holes you know um, these are things that I'm sharing with you is something that I've said over and over and over with those around me that I'm in con communication with so take from this what you need for you and what I'm sharing okay because, excuse me, <coughs> often I will cough as our throat chakra, where we have not been able to speak up for so long. Many of us, a lot of us have um, underactive thyroid and quite a lot of also blood group A's um, of not being able to speak up in the past. And it's also about grace. You know, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. And you know, I looked up what does grace mean, and, 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 and from the Merriam Webster Dictionary, unmerited divine assistance given to humans, thank you, for their regeneration or sanctification, B, a virtue coming from God, C, a state of sanctification enjoyed through divine assistance. It's about that divine assistance that you're not lost. You need to refine you and your inner connection with God to make peace with yourself. Peace and freedom, peace and freedom. The 12th of January, I did a video about a healing with Ayers Rock. And when we did it, and, and there was another one after it, and I, I go through, I, I, it was a great meditation, live divine healings that I've been gifting for the last six months. And now I'm to pull back. I've been gifting for 25 years, especially the last 10, 15 years. And others like me that brought something new to the planet <coughs> died around 60. And so recently I faced more my mortality. I was very clearly let know, you, go, you need to face your mortality. This way that you are going is <coughs> you will not live to 60. So the message is we're making it pass. And so I'm pulling back. And you need to pull back for yourself and to save yourself. And many of you are and have been facing maybe life-threatening situations that you're in, you've been in, where by the grace of God, you're still here. And I thank you for being here for all you've been through too. And so what we need to do is let go of old timelines that are no longer re relevant and you don't need to understand any more than what it means just go with what's the timeline it's an old timeline we're on that's enough you don't have to go and understand deeper that there was many old timelines where many of us <clears throat> are still on that timeline that's no longer relevant and not realizing let me share a bit more here it's about letting go of what we envisioned or wanted in old timelines that didn't come to fruition Yet we still feel that we need to do that within. Now, let me give you an example because I've written here. It's a very interesting feeling, isn't it? In a previous timelines for me, my books would have already been published. I was already on doing many talks on stages. <clears throat> 
For myself, I chose to, when I was on stage, to take a personal attack of betrayal energies in the human being as I'm anchoring in a new human super consciousness through myself firstly for the whole planet that the, there's very few of you that are resonating to these energies this is like university level majoring so the more that we ascend <clears throat> there's more of us coming up and there's less of you that are resonating and feeling what I'm bringing through as I'm in ninth dimensional energies, you're coming to fifth dimensional energies. And I just had to accept that today and let go of all else. Um, <clears throat> Jesus had 12 disciples was the example given to me, not 12,000. And so something clicked and shifted, shifted within me most recently about this, that on an older timeline was the energies and I saw and I got vision as I was shown about books being published and on the stages yet I chose to push through that dark attack and two other groups did on the planet at the same time that same day and we fought off the attacks and we didn't let it happen I know that we won against the dark the light has won the rest needs to play out what's going on in the world those of you like me that have been feeling below the iceberg for so very fucking long that have been the oddball, the odd bod, the one maybe felt a bit nuts, a bit weird, too school for cool, you know. We are the ones that have got the magic creative energy, the bits that are nutso bits. It's time to own our nutso bits because that's your new creative energy. You need to be fully you in owning yourself fully. This is called shaman hiyoki energy. Go look that one up for yourself and resonate to what that is written when you look Google it. Now, chapter four of my Living Ascension book. So, I'm doing an e-book because I've already written so many books. I have so many drafts in a box next to me right here. I'm done. There are so many. I've already written a library of books, okay? And that passion is still inside of me and it did not transpire. I relate this to you. It did not transpire. That was the old timelines. So now it's about creating something new that brings you joy. It brings me joy to write these chapters of what's happening on the planet energetically and then putting extras. I'm gifting these. I've gifted... I'm not sure if I've gifted the fourth chapter or not. We'll wait and see. I can't recall because I'm in the flow. And then they will be going into an ebook and that brings me joy and that's me creating the new so what is it you do you need to let go of, of the old there's a lot of old addictions there's an addiction to worry something we need to let go of to make room someone wrote me an email and said it's great that you're taking time out that you're slowing down although I see you doing other things you're not really slowing down okay what a wonderful email because what that means is I'm doing what brings me joy of coming and meeting the fence of 50% and it's all right here and souls are needed to take that next step with their 50% to receive this. I've been doing five, two thousand percent for a very long time and I've been pulling back and now I'm pulling back so I'm still giving that amount but it's here now. That is the difference. See what that means for you and pulling your back up for more energy for you and Another thing is it's taking a little while for souls to learn to unwind and slow down. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, Nina. Oh, I love you too, Debbie. So, that's it, Carrie. Boom. Undirected throat, blood type A. So, there's many more messages. Thank you, Rhonda, for appreciating the gift of chapters. To, for me to do an ebook is breathing because I breathe this and see when one understands that living in service for me because it's all about me 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 right now right it's all about you and the birds agree because the bird tribes are here that okay big shift there it goes release take a moment we just shifted through just then so all that, I have to go back and watch that. That took 16 minutes, 48 seconds. I have to go back and watch everything I just delivered. It took me 16 minutes to break through to the new energies. Hallelujah. So everyone take a breath.
and we're going to shift into a part two. Because we're shifting each dark brick in the wall, draw golden one, one by one. After all, they were just bricks in a wall. So in front of everybody I've been saying is a dark, big wall of two different types of walls. One is to not push through. It means it's the end of the road in that path. And anything that you attempt and want to do will not be working. So I wrote, laugh at this. When you get things that are not happening over and over, no, 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 stop, move away, let go. You, that's not the angle to go on anymore. Take, pull back, come in, create a new peaceful space, sacred space for yourself. And to do that, we need to allow ourselves to slow down. And what's happening, I'm seeing with all around me, it's taking a little bit to unwind the clock to slow down, to realize you've been clearing the bottom of your iceberg for so long, others are only just starting. Some are in between this as well. And for those that are in between, the writing is the releasing. The writing is the releasing. Even write as a shopping list that you will want to write. People, I was surprised people have blocks with writing when a couple said, but I, and okay, okay, all right. Do not pressure yourself to write as a chore because that's your block. You're your own block. You need to get out of your own way and lighten up and just write things as a list. Anything to get a link into the human being to ground and writing is the way. Also, there's another wall of old energies that we need to take each brick and flip it to gold, flip it to gold, flip it to gold. All those old bricks of the negativity, you start looking at the positives because the angel number that came was 1121. Because this is the under the iceberg energy is now fully releasing and depending on how conscious you are of how you're feeling is how you will finally release these older energies of an old life and path. Those that are coming from the head and controlling are having the most issues because there's no room to go, their nose is there, no room to go. It will not work that way, that's old 3, 4D control energies, masculine dominance, let it go. So number 1121, one, one. picture that above you, 1121. One, one giant numbers then see little water droplets trickling down and feel that energy it's the vibrations of triple one and number two manifestation creating your own reality soul mission life purpose about being a go-getter but also being sensitive to finding new ways of getting things done the way you want them to be done and not be hindered by old outdated habits that need to be changed there are new directions to be taken you need to be free from old baggage to freely move forward in your life look at new experience to new experiences and opportunities and shift your words from negative to positive may monitor yourself Flip it, flip it. You can do it in an instant. You can do it. I'm reading here now, triple nine and triple five. It's time to let go of the old that's no longer positively serving you. Trust that they will be replaced with better. Release old doubts, fears and perceived obstacles. And if feeling any fears or confusion, ask for support and guidance. I just want to say that you're welcome, Taylor. That's great. That's great, Rhonda. That's resonating. Listen, I know a lot of you have been doing this for a while. This has come up at a newer level. This is clearing the ancient. This is clearing old family linear energies as well. It's not just us, what we're feeling. Stick with it until the 21st and 22nd of June. It will be that intense because we need to create new joy, accept change and take a chance without fear. The second wave has begun. They keep talking about this second wave out there with the whatever. That is just such a distraction of the second wave of, wave of human consciousness is coming. It's really big. It's the bottom of the iceberg. It's starting to come now. And I shared recently when this clicked in and I wrote on the Blue Beyond Guide fa um, page, Facebook page, the second wave has commenced. And you can feel it.
We are resolving inherited patterns and healing ancient ancestral trauma. So feel into where you're at, what you're feeling and go through. No, this is bigger than just you. Take a breath. Take this in consciously. And doing that can make all the difference alone of you going, oh, no wonder. Now it makes sense. Sometimes we're holding on to the owl we do not realize is bigger than us. Let this play out and transform you between now to the 21st, 22nd of June, another eclipse. It's a solstice as well. It's huge, huge, huge energies. Remove the box and the boundaries and start to pull down one brick at a time. The Mookite crystal came recently. I'm just seeing what else to share from what I wrote. You do not need to suffer over your suffering. Hand over the worry. Faith and trust in self is the biggest issue or area at our very soul's core is faith and trust in a bigger plan and please have faith and trust in yourself. Allow the old to arise, be conscious of this and right to release the old patterns of the mind. So there are false words that are going around and around, an old groove of old third and fourth dimensional energies of a collective consciousness of energies of those people in the world that are very negative with what's happening in the world. There is two. There's those that are very negative, that are in the fear and it's blah 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 and all that stuff that's happening in the world you know them they're all around us and then there's the other ones okay let's sit back for the ride it's all happening for a reason the dominoes have to topple the bricks have to fall for the shit to be stirred up for the good to come up and out and through for a total reset this is what it's taking we won't see all of this in our lifetime the benefits of everything we're going through, I feel and believe it will take longer. And I'm not the only one. However, in that, let's just focus and conscious now, not in the future. The new earth, the new earth, let's do this, rah, rah, rah. Stop fucking talking about it is the message. Stop fucking talking. Stop flapping the gums because it's flapping the mind and the thoughts and the people are too busy talking and not being silent and acting on and physically manifesting from the inside out. The message I've had to share with many is please stop talking. The more you're talking, the energy's gone. There's your creative energy. You've let it go. And then it doesn't manifest. And then they're chasing. I don't know why. I don't know why I never get there. I have faith and trust and everything's going to happen for a reason, I believe. But I don't know why it's not. Stop. Slow down. Take a breath. Bring this energy in alignment into yourself. Keep the two parts, your masculine and feminine, within yourself in silence. Create a new sacred space of peace for yourself. There's a lot more to this. That's why I've, I am now slowing down very, very much. Because I've gone so far ahead as an emotional trailblazer visionary and an ascension pioneer of being a wayseer ahead of humanity in what people are now going through, I've already been through for myself personally. That is a very big call, yet I stand by it. And I've often said to people, if you want to talk to me face to face and question me, I am open for that. And people have done that, and they have humbly apologised for how they criticised. So, you know, when someone owns their power, let go of others' reactions, get out of the emotions and rise above it and grow into being the master that you came here to be as what I call new ascending earth masters of mastering yourself firstly. You are the one you've been waiting for. I love I wrote this before. This is where it comes in of be of the light in your words and your actions, how you speak to others, pay attention how you speak to yourself. Be the light. You are the event. The time is now. There is no thing left to wait for. But love and full acceptance of you and where you are right now, a very new beginning, what we call a new zero point. You are needing to newly create this. And to do so, you need to remove, off, remove and offload the old third and fourth dimensional thinking energies. And I know you can do this because I have faith and trust in you.
I know you can do this. You would not be here listening to me because you're resonating to my energy of source. I bring this through and I table it. You take what you need. I bring proof through breaking through and doing these things for and through myself firstly, bringing up a new paradigm of energies. I do not see anybody else around me that's energy is as clear and I've looked for others and so I'm just bringing a new, very new platform through now. Because too much of our time has been spent thinking about the things you think or feel you need to do in your life. Old roadblocks are popping up left, right and centre. Laugh and go with this. This is where we do not push. We are in the cocoon or the flower of life stage of inevitable change. Thank you, thank you for joining me here. Because we're pushing this all out. We're pushing this energy out and this healing, this beautiful divine healing of your love and caring for others, push it out, see it go out to others. Release this to humanity right now, right here and now. Just release and let's do it together in new unity energies. Let's release it together, okay? I can see dragons, all multicolored dragons coming up and out. I can see all these beautiful, beautiful crystals coming up and out, beautiful energies and see a planet in the middle and surround it with these beautiful energies. Stay where you are, focus on yourself, look after yourself and your health firstly and your well-being. You died other times, you didn't make it through, so this is a miracle you're still here. Slow down, take one step at a time and keep writing for yourself. And we've reached 44 in here, I need to go. And uh, I love you and thank you for joining me. Bye.